For 37 years, Robert Dubois has proclaimed his innocence behind prison walls, even during the verdict decades ago. You don't know how tough it is. But now DNA evidence proves he was telling the truth the whole time. This afternoon, Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren says Dubois was wrongly convicted. He plans to ask a judge to reverse his conviction and give him back his freedom. For 37 years, we've had an innocent man locked up for a crime that he did not commit, while the real perpetrator was never held accountable for this horrific murder. Dubois was convicted of the brutal beating death of 20-year-old Barbara Graham. Her body was discovered in a parking lot of a dentist office. Then Robert Earl DeBose. Back then, a young assistant state attorney, Mark Ober, who later became the state attorney in Hillsborough County, admitted he didn't have much evidence on Dubois. It was all circumstantial, including a bite mark on the victim that Ober's expert matched to Dubois. But the defense called it junk science. And now the scientific community says it too and considers bite mark evidence highly unreliable. However, it was the DNA evidence that cleared Dubois. And the results show that Robert Dubois' DNA was not present. None of this could have been possible without the state attorney's conviction review unit and the tireless work of supervising attorney Teresa Hall, who teamed up with the Innocence Project. It took 11 months of exhaustive, meticulous work to right a wrong. When science tells us that we've convicted the wrong person, it's up to us to listen and to act. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Warren plans to ask a judge tomorrow morning to reverse the conviction and set Mr. Dubois free. We will let you know what happens.